Hello friends. Uh, today I am here to share with you some of the uh, ways that can help you to cope with uh, grief. Definitely, I am not an uh, expert in this. Uh, neither am I a counselor. But uh, I have experienced loss of my loved one, someone uh, who is very dear to me, and uh, I lost my father. And uh, it's been uh, more than one and a half year, but still the extent of pain that uh, you experience is uh, extreme. So I'm sure many of you might be going through this thing and uh, you don't feel that you are going through a depression. Never feel that because uh, if you were if you go for a walk for a very long time, you keep walking, your muscles are going to uh, show up the signs of pain. Yeah, so it's a physiological reaction. Your body is reacting in that way. So that extreme pain of losing your loved one, the emptiness, that vacuum, it's going to come out. It's not that you are not accepting the reality, though initially it's difficult, but yeah. So never feel that you are going through some depression. It's a very normal emotion which is being uh, sometimes revealed, sometimes kept hidden inside. Uh, you have your family, your friends, your loved ones who are around you. They definitely support you in this thing. But there comes a point where even they get bugged up sometimes. They are not able to extend their support which the way it has to be and uh, there comes a point where you start feeling bad you start feeling guilty that you are dragging everyone into this thing and you start hiding your emotions but uh, believe me you shouldn't feel bad about such things yeah it's not only that you require a counseling it's even those they require counseling on how to manage such situations they, there has to be the sensibility sometimes it, it lacks in people for whatever reason there could be uh, some of the things that has helped me is uh, spirituality uh, believing in the almighty that wherever the soul has gone uh, it is being taken care of that soul is at a very uh, uh, comforting place much better and uh, that's what you wish for that's what you pray for and automatically the strength inside you starts to develop and you start believing in this way yeah. second thing helped me was uh, definitely being surrounded with people you should be uh, start enjoying your work your life that you used to live and it is difficult but definitely you need to be surrounded with people so that you can put the thought process of grief at rest for some time. Otherwise, it's difficult when you keep on thinking again and again. Other thing that uh, helps you is thinking about those moments where you've experienced extreme pleasure and enjoyment with your loved one. Uh, there was a time when I used to only think about the last phase, the last chapter of my father's life, those moments of the hospital, the process of cremation, all those gets uh, recreated in your mind and those images, they just resurface and uh, it's, it becomes extremely painful. I was not able to think about anything else. So what you're doing is you're only focusing on the a last paragraph of the chapter you're not focusing on the entire journey that you have experienced with that person so it's very important you think about those moments even on on rethinking those happy moments i used to break into tears when i used to think about those moments where uh, i have uh, enjoyed uh, songs with my dad or some uh, uh, food item or some place and yeah it happened it was difficult for me initially but when you keep doing that ultimately you start experiencing the joyful moment where you have experienced the main essence of that event 
and slowly will come out of it. Instead of running away, I would suggest you redo those things again. And yeah, it 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 is uh, painful initially, but it will ease out a bit. Yeah. One of the best things that I discovered that uh, has to be done on your own, as I said. Uh, we have a lot of dependency on other people to extend their support and uh, you expect that they should be jumping into it and they should help you but it does not happen uh, every time so it's you who has to take the initiative and what i specifically discovered which has helped me a lot is uh, me joining a, a, a society uh, a home for uh, special children and uh, those uh, most of them more than almost 200 uh, having uh, mentally being mentally challenged or even physically challenged and uh, when i went there for the first time and as soon as i entered the big hall all the uh, children they gathered me and it was like uh, they are looking for some warmth out of you it was very welcoming and i felt like there are so many people out there who have genuinely no one with them to support them and uh, there was one child who was uh, standing in a corner and uh, he was looking towards me then again withdrawing his side again looking towards me he was very anxious that i felt that some stranger has uh, come over and uh, what i could do the best was just smile at him and uh, it just relieved him and he started just he started to walk towards me and uh, he put his hand on his shoulder other children wanted to shake hands with me they were trying to communicate it was very difficult to understand but what i understood is they wanted to connect with me there are people who desperately need someone so that they find some difference in their life and it was genuinely very pure and i felt very happy and uh, i keep on visiting this place frequently and uh, so then and uh, definitely it's not that i am helping them in fact it's helping me so it's uh, i'm doing it for myself so that feeling that you are in a better position as compared to other people so uh, you you will feel that comfort in doing those things so ultimately what will help you is believe in the almighty stay connected with your friends family members go out work with full enthusiasm and remember extend your support because there are people who are going through a very miserable condition as well helping them will help you for sure and just keep on looking back into those memories where it was just awesome yeah so that's it from my side thank you